911, what is the emergency? Please come to my house, please. Alright, what's going on at that location, ma'am? Uh, my left son is in there fighting. Alright, were any weapons involved at dementia, ma'am? Oh, no, I don't think so. Hello? Oh, she got a knife! She got a knife! She got a knife! She got a knife! She got the f***ing knife! Ma'am. Oh, God! Hello? Stop that f***ing light. Brian, I'm not playing with you. Give it to me. Give it to me. Does you still have the weapon, ma'am? No, I took it. You took it? Stay by me. Does anyone need medical attention? My son, man. You see, he can't tell his arm. Oh, God. Damn. Officer Q50, you're going to be going for a 17-year-old male who has been stabbed in the arm. Code 3 and the 3rd. You're all advised your code 4. Apparently, PD's in route. They say bleeding control. Let me find out. Alpha 3250, do we know if bleeding control was given? Negative, sir, I do not. Be advised, the female is still on scene, armed with the knife. It's the male that was stabbed in the arm. All right, so the female stabbed the male. The, the female arm. stabbed the male, and the, and the female still on scene. So being that it's a stab wound to the arm doesn't mean that it's a minor injury. The arm is very vascular, and there's a lot of arteries that go up and down. If one of them's cut, he could bleed out and die. Be advised, you need to code four. All right. We copy. Alpha 3250, you can show us on scene. What's going on? Let me see your arm. I'm going to start. Ah. Alpha 3250, this is going to be a trauma activation. What did she get you with? A knife. A knife? Oh, yeah. I'm worried about muscle damage tissue damage, nerve damage, and possibly if she did hit a vein or an artery deep inside the shoulder. Because you hit one of them, it's going to bleed, and it's going to bleed a lot. All right, my man. You want to get him on that? Yeah. Hey, give me your arm. I'm going to start a little IV on you, OK? I know it hurts. I know. And she got you right here on the thumb, too? Uh-uh. Was that like a defensive wound? All right. She gets you on the neck, too? Oh, she scratched me. She scratched you? So these right. are all scratch marks. Uh, all right, brother. Just turn your arm just a little bit for me. You might put a needle in. Yeah. Yeah, just an IV, man. You just got stabbed. I know this ain't gonna hurt yeah, you. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother, you ready? Oh, it wasn't that bad, was it? It was bad. No, it wasn't. No, it was not. <laughs> At 17, you don't need that in your life. I feel bad for this little dude. You ready to roll? We're ready to roll. All right. This first time you ever got stabbed? Uh-huh. It ain't gonna happen again, huh? I hope not. <laughs> I hear you. Are right, you ready? One, two, three. Ah. There you go. Not gonna touch it again, okay? Okay. I gotta get stitches. Uh, they gotta go in there and see how deep that is. They gotta go in it? Uh, if you said it went all the way in, that was that, that's at least three inches in your back shoulder. That's ah. That's pretty deep, you know? What happens if I feel light You feel lightheaded right now? I love that. Yeah, I mean, it's you You just got stabbed. You were in pain. So uh, what's your pain level at right now without touching it right now? Is it 10? It hurts. All right. Once he gets to the hospital, they're going to take an x-ray of his arm, his upper chest, to make sure it didn't penetrate his chest. But he's still in a lot of pain right now. All right, I'm going to give you a little pain medicine, all right? Uh-huh. It's going to get you a little. Wait, 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 is it shot? No, 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 it's going in the IV. You're not going to feel it. All right. That's, that's why I started that IV. Oh, no more pain. <laughs> oh, I feel it. I know. Ah. There you go. Oh. Yeah, all right, my man. I know it's rough sometimes. I want to be on the diesel, I feel. You want to be a paramedic? That's what I'm talking about. School's about 18 to 16 months. When he tells me that, he wants to be a paramedic. That makes me feel good, because any patient I have in the back of my truck, I treat as they're my family. How's your pain level? You're starting to feel it, I can see. So I hope the way I treated him, his wounds, took care of him, it, it showed him that I want to do that one day. I want to take care of, of a patient like that. I'm going to take care of you, OK? Because his foot hurts. Dude, call an ambulance because his foot hurts. Right. So you're walking anyway, so you're in bed. Right. 
Oh, I brought you a little, uh, a little flair for that plain, basic-ass clipboard you what got. What you got, dude? I got you a Luke Bryan sticker for that thing. Luke I Bryan. know you're a big Luke Bryan fan. And that dude that's sitting there shaking. I mean, he is just what country is today. He's not, I'm not going to say his music's terrible, but. I don't know. I just never got in the country, bro. But then my man Luke Bryan came and just changed it all. You know that they say happens if you play a country song backwards, huh? <laughs> nah. You get all your stuff back. Your old lady comes back to you. Your dog comes back to you. You get your truck back from the bank. I <laughs> will be forgetting how white you are sometimes, <laughs> bro. We arrive on the scene, and we're looking for the patient. And it's in an industrial area, so it's, it's kind of strange. There's no houses around here. Oh, I see it now. We're in the middle of nowhere. This guy has no business being out here at this time of night. What happened, man? I don't know. Did you hit it or what? I don't know. What were you doing? He was walking, walking. and then it just started hurting. Yeah, so I gave out. I, I can't hardly walk. Back. John, right? Sure. Can you make it to the side of the ambulance? All right. He just got off work? Yes, he go to work. Oh, he's on your way. All right, we're going to take a look at your ankle, all right, John? You know how to do this thing. Somebody else fucking died doing something. You didn't twist it or nothing, mm -hmm. huh? It just started hurting all out the book. Mm -hmm. Where does it hurt at? Here, pain in the whole ankle. Down here and in the ankle. All right, where were you walking to? To Walmart. You was going to walk from here all the way to Walmart? Do you do that regularly? Pretty yeah. regular. To go to work. Man, I got to give right. him that, man. You gotta I got to give him that one. I got to shake your hand on that one, man. As it turns out, he walks like 15 miles one way to work every day. Does the buses run this late? No, not really. That's why he's walking. Man, I've heard people say they don't want to walk 15 blocks to work, more or less 15 miles. So you got to give that man some serious respect. You're pretty good, man. Hey, look, dude, we don't see any bruise or anything like that, so we just run you to the hospital. You cool with that? Cool with it. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense why his foot hurts so much walking that far. It's like when your car breaks down, you got to get it fixed so you can get to work. His foot broke down, so he's got to get it fixed so he can get back and forth to work. You listen to country music, man? Oh, thanks. Really? All right. Who is it? You ever heard his cat named Luke Bryan? Luke Bryan. That's my yeah, man yeah. right there. Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He's saying that Luke Bryan is not country music. That's Luke Bryan country all the way. Where are you from? He's That's what I'm saying. He's, 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 oh, he's yeah. today's on, country. Hey, man, look. Luke Bryan is today, bro. That's what, I know, on, but he ain't real man, country. Look. Yeah, he is, no. bro. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. I've been telling you. Please. Don't take me to his face and see what happens. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> hey, can you please exit the ambulance, man? This is for the Luke Bryan people. <laughs> People, man. Titus knows one song by Luke Bryan. All right. But that one song gave hey, Titus man. just one more oh, tool to put in his wow. toolbox of how to connect with patients. So hold up. For you to get on time, you left to go to work five That's hours crazy. before you. Y'all like to be on time. <laughs> hey, man, I'm liking you more and more. So it appears we're going to the 800 block of Bourbon for a male involved in a fight, and he is bleeding. From the back of the head, lots. People will bleed lots from the head. It's 232 in there. Hi. Um. Lord have mercy. Hi. He got punched and went back. Oh, you got a lot of hair. You can't remember exactly what happened. Yeah, you got a little cut back there. You know what day it is, baby? You know what month it is? Anytime you get a blunt force trauma to the head, your brain rattles around a little bit, which can cause an internal bleed. I'm taking back a little bit. OK. The fact that he doesn't remember the event tells me that he lost consciousness, which is a concern. Does he need stitches or what? Yeah. You want to okay. hop up for me, babe? So what happened, baby? Somebody hit you? Girl, I don't even know. <laughs> You're just kind of walking along, and then boom, that's it. Got some Lift your arm up and out for me. I'm going to take your blood pressure off. Relax here. So he's got about four centimeter laceration. What did you get hit with? You don't know? He doesn't remember at all. So I don't remember what happened. But you didn't get, like, knocked completely out. You know, like, wake up on the ground or anything. OK. And any time you get a blunt force trauma to the head, your brain rattles around a little bit, which can cause an internal bleed. So we need to get him to the hospital to make sure that he gets the CT scan to see how bad it may or may not be. I'm going to go ask and see if they know what happened. OK. Any alcohol or drugs tonight? Just beer. OK. Hey, do y'all know what happened at all? This guy and he got arrested in the police car over here. Started beating another guy up, and then he turned and started beating on him, punched him, and he went straight back. OK. 
Alyssa, do you want to know what happened? I want to know what happened. You want to know what happened? You were somebody's hero tonight. Hey, I um, a hero. Uh huh. So the guy that they have in custody was assaulting another guy physically, and so you jumped in and tried to help get him off of that guy, and uh, you went back and hit your head on the ground. Good job, sir. I don't remember that. That's all right. <laughs> that's what they said, huh? That's a better story than I don't remember. So we're gonna take you up to Tulane, okay? All right. He saved someone from getting beat up, and although he incurred an injury from it, he was somebody's hero tonight, which is awesome. Got a little headache? Just the fact that I don't remember. Your brain gets scrambled. It takes some time to get back together, and you might have a headache for a couple of days. I know it's strange. It doesn't make any sense, but it's pretty normal, believe it or not. So don't worry about it. 32, 32, out at the hospital. He has that true, you know, New Orleanian soul and spirit in that, you know, he saw something going on that he didn't like, so he stepped in. People like that do make me so proud of the city. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're going to bleed to death. <sighs> Grand the knob. Grand the knob. You know, they're not dead. I can work with them.